Hi, this is Jonathan Groff. I'm at the opening night of Hamilton on Broadway. I'm so excited. And I hope that you're super excited because you are watching the Broadway.com show. Welcome to the Broadway.com show, your weekly cheat sheet to all that's happening on the Great White Way. Or as we like to think of it, the place that wouldn't dream of reviewing Benedict Cumberbatch before he invited us to. What's the buzz, Paul? Gaby, Chip, and Ozzy's glorious year-long ship leave is over. The acclaimed revival of On the Town will close on September 6th at the Lyric Theatre. The same day, ballet diva Misty Copeland finishes her brief run as Ivy Smith. But don't shed a tear for the Leonard Bernstein, Betty Comden, Adolph Green classic. The John Rando production will have played 368 performances at the time of closing, making it by far the most successful version of the show since the 1944 original. In fact, both the 1971 revival with Bernadette Peters and Donna McKechnie and the 1998 stage in which Jesse Tyler Ferguson and Leah Delaria ran under 100 performances. So congrats to On the Town for a hell of a run. Get ready for a new Broadway coven. Tony winner Sophie Okonedo, Olivier nominee Ben Wishaw, and Broadway alum Kieran Hines are set to lead the spring revival of The Crucible. Arthur Miller's look at the Salem Witch Trials will also feature rising stars Saoirse Ronan and Tavi Gevinson, with Tony winner Jim Norton, Bill Camp, and Jason Butler Harner rounding out the cast. Directed by Evo Van Hova, something witchy this way comes to the Great White Way in April at a theater to be announced. Three-time Tony winner and Oscar nominee Frank Langella is returning to Broadway in the American premiere of a new play, and the production has a seriously stellar team behind it. Directed by Tony winner Doug Hughes, Langella will headline Florian Zeller's The Father in a translation by two-time Tony and Oscar winner Christopher Hampton. The show is set to begin previews on March 22, 2016 at Manhattan Theatre Club's Samuel J. Friedman Theatre. America's favorite freckled redheaded teenager Archie and his friends Jughead, Betty, Veronica, and the rest of the Riverdale gang will soon be singing their hearts out on Broadway. Archie Comics is teaming up with Funny or Die writer-director Adam McKay to create an Archie stage musical based on the long-running comic book franchise. McKay, who directed Will Ferrell in the Tony-nominated You're Welcome America, A Final Night with George W. Bush, isn't slated to helm the Broadway adaptation as of right now. And no word yet on the music or cast. But the creators promise the show will be bright, colorful, and slightly demented. Sounds perfect. Two of the fall's most anticipated Broadway revivals are filling out their cast. Spring Awakening, which starts September 8th at the Brooks Atkinson Theater, will feature Emmy winner Cameron Mannheim, Patrick Page, and Broadway newbie Russell Harvard playing the adult men and women roles along with Oscar winner Marley Matlin. Meanwhile, three Broadway vets are packing their bags for Anna Tepka, where they'll take on roles in Bartlett Cher's new Fiddler on the Roof. Congrats to So You Think You Can Dance winner Melanie Moore, currently in Finding Neverland, Adam Danheiser, and Carl Kensler, with Danny Burstein as Tevya, Fiddler Bows at the Broadway Theater on November 12th. Thumbs up to director George C. Wolfe for assembling one of the most exciting casts of the year for the spring revival of Shuffle Along. Not only did Wolfe tap six-time Tony winner Audra McDonald to lead the show, he cast a host of extraordinary men to co-star with her. Check this out. Kinky Boots Tony winner Billy Porter, Tony nominee Brandon Victor Dixon, always working stage fave Joshua Henry, and McDonald's ragtime co-star Tony winner Brian Stokes Mitchell. This is an embarrassment of riches and we love you for it, George. Thumbs down to the British press over their behavior towards our sweet prince, Benedict Cumberbatch. The Olivier winner and Oscar nominee started performances on August the 4th in Hamlet at London's Barbican Theatre. Now, we all know that the polite thing to do is to wait until the official opening night to review a show, which in this case is August the 25th. But what do the London Times and the Daily Mail do? Send in critics to pen their thoughts about the first preview. Honestly, it should come to this. This week's hot shot, captured at the Hamilton opening night bash by Broadway.com photographer Bruce Glickis, does not feature fireworks, crowds of celebs, or even freestyling, but it does have a lot of groff sauce. Here's Hamilton's Jonathan Groff going cheek to cheek with creator and co-star Lin-Manuel Miranda. Look at those beaming faces. Of course they're happy. They're celebrating a terrific new musical in the greatest city in the world. Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda's fresh take on the Founding Fathers, is already a hit. But 
I was already looking ahead on opening night when I asked the stars what other historical figure deserves a hip-hop musical. Their answers are this week's pop poll. I overheard Lynn talk about the governor of New York at the time. His name was George Clinton. That's a good name. A little P-Funk. Martin Luther King Jr. Right? Come on, I have a dream speech over a beat? Are you kidding me? Harriet Tubman. Maybe like Napoleon Bonaparte set to hip-hop? That could be kind of fun. You know, Buddha. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know. Maybe Frederick Douglass. That would be kind of cool. That would be really cool. Queen Victoria. I think that would be pretty sexy. Yeah. But we know it would be a Barack Obama, that's for sure. I think we should go as far back in history as possible and do uh, like Cleopatra. Rosa Parks. That might be kind of hard. It was a little down, but she's fierce. I don't know, maybe Susan B. Anthony will be next. Okay, Lynn? So you can write that one for me. I'm Alex Sharp, and you are watching the Broadway.com show. It's time to reveal your latest top 10 list from culturalist.com. This week, in honor of the 50th anniversary production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat that's in the works, we asked you to rank which dreamy dudes you think are best fit to headline the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Broadway.com site producer Joanne Villani kicked off this week's challenge with the one and only Aaron Tveit as her top pick, and here's how you guys voted. Kyle Dean Massey, Ramin Karamloo, Santino Fontana, Andy Mientis, Adam Jacobs, Corey Cott, Darren Chris, Jonathan Groff, Jeremy Jordan, and your number one pick, Aaron Tveit. Thanks for voting, and check back on Broadway.com later this week for a brand new Culturalist Challenge. This week, we're tipping our hats to a Broadway star celebrating some amazing news. Montego Glover, who just closed in the musical It Should Have Been You, and previously wowed crowds as Felicia in the musical Memphis, and was probably robbed of a Tony Award for that role. No, really, Montego, it should have been you already has her next gig, and it's a good one. Glover will break hearts as Fontaine in Broadway's Les Miserables starting September 1st at the Imperial Theater. We've dreamed a dream that this charming stage dynamo would stick around on Broadway, and now that it's true, we're calling her our Star of the Week. Congrats, Teagues. Our Tweet of the Week goes to Gideon Glick, who is about to end his run in off-Broadway's significant other. He wrote, Someone in my apartment building was blasting Defying Gravity, and it wasn't me. Okay, Gideon, I think I might know someone in your building. Also, I think you might really like each other. You can follow this wicked fan at Gid Glick. In last week's SmackDown, we celebrated all the exciting Wiz Live casting news, which didn't even include the latest edition of Uzo Aduba as Glinda and Amber Riley as Atta Pearl, by asking you which live TV musical event you're most excited to watch this winter, Grease on Fox or The Wiz on NBC. Well, the results are in, and Grease Live came out on top with 70% of the votes. But let's be real, we're all going to watch, sing along with, and tweet about both shows. This week, Hamilton is the talk of the town. Have you heard of it? Well, in case you've been living under a big, boring rock, everyone is obsessed with Lin-Manuel Miranda's new tuner, and we think it's time Hollywood wised up and jumped on the musical virtuoso's bandwagon. So, we want to know, which Miranda show would you like to see adapted into a blockbuster movie musical? In the Heights or Hamilton? Tweet your vote to at Broadwaycom with the hashtag BeWaySmackdown and tune in next week to find out the winner. Thanks for watching The Broadway.com Show. We leave you with a snippet from Side by Side by Susan Blackwell, featuring Ben Platt, whose new musical Dear Evan Hansen is a summer hit at the arena stage in DC. So what's Platt doing in the clip? Just ripping. See you next week. The name of the game is Just Riffin. Ooh, 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 just Riffin. Open it up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey.